Hello everybody and welcome to Machete Pro number 2. This boogaloo is personal. This is also the second time I'm recording this because the first time I did this I had no audio at all because it set the my desktop audio and my mic to default which was nothing. So we're doing this one more time and I shit you not I did the full thing with no audio. It fucking stinks i clicked away from fucking obs instead of doing this so of course i'm gonna run down the match card here it is gonna be of course hiroshi tanahashi taking on ziggy dice chris masters taking on lex luger texano jr taking on saya kamatani jinichiro tenryu making his return to to machete pro taking on dan barry pj black taking on dean ambrose disco inferno versus hikaru shida super beetle versus big v big Vito. Super Beetle vs. Big Vito in our semi-main and in our main event, Edith Surreal taking on Jamie Senegal. So we're going to start with the first match, which is, of course, Tanahashi versus Edith, or not Edith Surreal, sorry, Ziggy Dice. Thankful, thankfully, the audio didn't catch that because Tanahashi actually has his music in this because this is actually the DLC. I'm going to try to find a Tanahashi that doesn't have the theme because I don't want this to get copyright claimed or striked. Because, God forbid. I mean, I don't make money, but, you know. I'd rather not get this claimed. <laughs> I kind of sort of need this channel for stuff like this. Oh, shit. Which one's the one? Wait. Okay, no, it's this one. Yeah. He's going to be wearing this hopefully this is the one that doesn't have the music because if it does i'm gonna cry just like how i cried earlier because i found out i recorded a whole fucking video with no audio and i didn't even realize it until it was too late so yeah this is literally my second time doing this and i hate it where the fuck is ziki dice ziki where are you buddy i need you right now thank you He's gonna wear the orange, like he did in the previous recording. Because Kobashi colors. Also, I changed a few rules here. Uh, TKO are gonna be 5 now. CPU level is gonna be at 7. Because I feel like these matches go on a little bit too quickly. Which isn't a bad thing, I don't want these to be too long. But at the same time, I don't want these to be too short. Uh, I kinda like to keep it around maybe less than an hour. Probably 50 to less than an hour, maybe 45. But, yeah, so... Uh, CPU level is not going to be at 7. Speed is about the same. Uh, five, 5 rounds, 10 minutes for each. Still the same. TKO has now changed to 5 instead of 3. Uh, relatively everything else is the same. So yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's open up our first match of the night, which is Tanahashi versus Ziki Dice. <coughs> Also, wasn't really much of a fan of the last recording of these. But anyways, here we go. Wait, are you to the corner to start off the match here? Elbow, or back body drop. Elbow to the back. And a European uppercut by Tanahashi. And a snapmare. Another snapmare by Ziggy Dice. And a snapmare by Tanahashi. And another little suplex there by Ziggy Dice. These two, very different characters. Tanahashi. Going for an abdominal stretch, but also the known as the ace of New Japan. The guy he's well known for carrying the new carrying New Japan on his back in the early to late two thousands. Early to mid actually. Sorry, not the late two thousands. Carried the company on his back. The guy was obviously one of the biggest stars in the company. Ziggy Dice. Not really much you can say with Ziggy Dice, others aside from I believe he was a former NWA television champion. Not a bad title hold, but, you know, it's not exactly a IWGP heavyweight title. But I don't want to discredit Ziggy Dice, as he, him and Tanahashi go at it right here, with Tanahashi winning the encounter. I imagine this could be an upset for Ziggy Dice if he could win here. But Tanahashi looked like he was going for something there, but he stopped halfway through. Oh, big old reverse abdominal, or reverse uh, atomic drop there. As... Tanahashi just simply throws Ziggy Dice out of the ring. No countouts. And a spinning neckbreaker by Tanahashi there. And a back body drop also. Tanahashi seems to have the advantage in this matchup here. Both men stop at the ropes, of course. And he 
to the back of the leg. That's gotta hurt. Dice is going down. It seems like another spinning neckbreaker. Dice is back up. Oh. Tanahashi going for a style splash? What the hell? Going for a pin there. Two? 2.9. Already. Spinning neckbreaker. By Ziki or by Tanahashi, not Ziki Dice. Dice going back to the advantage, elbow to the back, punches to the head. Time with the low blow there. Referee gonna allow that, I guess. And a duplex there. And then a snapmare. He elbow to the back and elbow to the head by Ziki Dice. Ziggy Dice, oh, Ziggy Dice seems to have the advantage here over Hiroshi Tanahashi. As he, as he slaps him and just yells in his face, this, oh, it's on now. Sling Blade by Tanahashi. I believe that was another sling blade there by Tanahashi. A low blow by Ziggy Dice, though. Kinda. Whoa! Oh, this could be it. It's over! Wow! Tanahashi picking up the win. Okay, we're gonna get fucking claimed anyways. God damn it. Ow. Well, Tanahashi picking up the win. God damn it. I guess both of them have the same song. Well, there you go. Ziggy Dice loses to Tanahashi in the first round. there had some interruptions but we're gonna go to our second match here as Chris Masters now takes on Lex Luger the battle between the total package and the masterpiece now I gotta go find Chris Masters as he's right here he's gonna of course rock the signature blue as Lex Luger I don't know where my mouse is okay it was on the bottom I have a lot of indie dudes. I should probably get rid of some, because some of them are oof. But, eh, I don't really have time, so I don't really do that. And of course, Luger going to look like Sid Vicious as we now go to our second match of the night. <coughs> Chris Masters and Lex Luger. Be an interesting match here. I wouldn't really see this as a scientific kind of match, though. All things considered, Luger working on the arm of Chris Masters. Very sound strategy there, actually. You could, can't really do the master lock if your arms hurt. I mean, you can't really do a master lock in general. If your arms hurt, you know, you're, you're kind of screwed. You could try the legs, but that seems impossible. Actually, it'd be kind of cool. Someone do a master lock with your legs. That's a challenge. But anyways, Ma Masters taking down Luger. And Luger just takes him down shortly thereafter. Elbow to the back. Gotta fix my headset here. And a whole oh, suplex to the outside there. Luger sent to the corner. Oh my god, okay. That looked like that hurt. Good lord. Pour him to the back. And a punch to the face. Oh, torture rack already. But no. And another torture rack by Luger. Could this be it? No, it's not. Oh, here we go. Masters Luger. Masters Luger. Luger wins. Gorilla press there and a slam cover 2.9 2. 
bastards. Get sent to the, oh my god, sent to the outside there. These bastards get back in the ring. I might have to change the difficulty back. This might, it seems like this is gonna end in round one. I kind of wanted to go a little bit longer. I might go to the, I might go down the six after this, just, just to see. So, the, the next match was just Taekano Jr. versus Saik Kamatani. Probably gonna be a little bit different from the rest. Pile driver, cover. 2.9 already. And a body slam. The Luger flexing. A bear hug by Chris Masters. Arch whip to the corner though. Masters going for a knee to the back there. Very surprising to see Tanahashi putting Ziggy Dice away in the first round. A lot of 2.9s, Luger just seemingly not being able to put away Chris Masters here. But Masters could go down here, he does not though. Masters, Luger, going for a punch there, cover, could this be it? It is, yeah, alright, we're gonna, we're gonna turn on the difficulty a little bit, I think 7 was a little too high. That's, we, first two matches, ending in the first round already, a little different from our sh show before. But I think I think for for our sakes we're gonna we're gonna turn down uh oh an elbow but that's cool we're gonna turn down the difficulty a little bit because I want I want to keep this interesting you know what I mean I don't want everything you know we're gonna put criticals on high kind of change the rules on the fly here because why not but anyways as I mentioned our next match is Takano Jr. taking on Saya Kamatani. Of course, I've been told that Texano Jr. sucks. Take that with how you, take it how you will. Where's that gear that I used for him earlier? Oh, was this one? Yeah, I think that was it. I'm really hoping Tanahashi doesn't fuck this video or my channel in general. Because that song might be copyrighted. If it's a copyright claim, alright, that's whatever. Because I'm not getting paid for this shit, but... Uh... I'm gonna be pissed though if it does get fucking coverage correct strike. But anyways, Texano Jr. taking on Sai Kamatani. I don't know which Sai she is. I think she's the she's the tall one obviously, but I'm not sure if she's tall or giant. There's a big difference between the two. I think the other one is I think this one is tall, but I'm not sure. But anyways, we're gonna change again as I mentioned, we're gonna change the rules up a little bit. Kinda a little different. I may turn off TKS too. Let's 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 turn those off. We're gonna we're gonna see how this one goes. This is an experimental match. Well, on the fly experimental things. Not too different, hopefully. Here we go. I, starting off there with a with an arm drag of sorts. By Saya here. Gets thrown to the outside Takano. Irish whip. Well, they bump into each other though. Texano going for an elbow to the back. Chop to the chest. Texano, go duck the clothesline. Back body drop. Big shove. Saying something. Test of strength between the two. Sai, of course, one of the tallest members of stardom. Standing at five foot six and 127 pounds. Of course, the math is correct. Drop to the chest there. Yeah. Forearm to the face. Trying to go for kicks without their arm drag of sorts. Takano really loving that like suplex or cover. Only getting a one. Okay. This is a little interesting here. Also really relying on pins here. Punch of the face. Whoa. Yeah, that's a little interesting. Arm drag by his side here. Going for a drop kick. No can do though. Gets sent to the corner though. With a form to the face. While they're fighting. Takano Saya going back and forth. Saya winning the encounter. Oh, nosebreaker, code breaker by Takano. Chopped to the chest. 
Nosebreaker, Codebreaker, yet again. Kick to the kick to the leg there. Kick to the gut. Headlock there by side. Oh, it just counts those anyways? Alright. Well, that's kind of weird. Alright, I don't know. <laughs> what does this game work? I bought this for like fucking. Forgot how, how much did I pay? Oh, oh, she yells, I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. Sheesh. Oh, big forearm there. Big shoulder tag, or whatever you want to call it. Forearm to the face. Another arm drag. Throwing Takano like he's nothing. Cover. Getting a two. Irish whip. Shoulder tackle there. Could this be it for Takano? No. Still in it. Nosebreaker, code breaker yet again. As Saya gets up. Drop kick. Takano's back up though. He kicks Saya in the legs a few times. Nice belly to belly there. Standing drop kick by Saya there. She goes for the one-legged boss of crap again. Could this be it? No. Takano sent to the ropes. Drop kick. Sorry, I guess I don't mean to talk over you. Kind of, kind of. All the sanity round one. As we go to the second round, our first match of the night to go to the second round. El elbow to the face. I might keep it like this, to be quite honest. I think this is good enough to keep. I think this is all right. I think I think we can deal with this. Yeah. Drop kick there by Saya. Takano is down, three, and he's hurt. And a body slam. Held by big stomp though. Yeah. Drop kick by Saya. These two are tired. Yeah. Punch to the face. Cool. What could she be going for here? She's waiting for him to get- Oh, it doesn't do it though. Tricks him. Good sound strategy there. Kick to the face. By Takano. I think he throws punches to the head. He does not throw punches to the head. It was her, but, you know. I didn't get the finish of my statement. Oh, youth? Is he staying handsome? Drop kick though. Could this be it? No, barely defeating the count there. Oh, here we go, Takano. They're back and forth, Takano, with the drop kick. Saya, really tired out here. This could be it. It is. Takano taking up the win in the second round of of the match. Again, no one is. I know one person that is not going to be happy with this result, and there'll probably be more. But it is what it is. All right, I think I'll keep it like that. I think that 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 works pretty well. I, I think I think we'll keep it like that. So, of course, our next match here features the return of someone who was at our last show, Tenryu, as he takes on Dan Barry. Now, in the original recording. I didn't know where Dan Barry was, but now that I'm recording this twice, I know where he is, and he is oh, right there. Of course, he's gonna wear this shirt because I mean, come on. Of course, I know where Tenry is though. He should be an old band. Yeah, he's an old band. It's kind of. I'm gonna rock this setup here. Of course, the last time we saw Tenry, he picked up a win over Kagetsu at our first show. Could we see the 2-0 Tenryu, or could we see Dan Barry be the one in 1-1? One and one? You can guess which one he is. Badoom-tish. It's a good joke. I thought of that on the, sh on the spot. Fight. And here we go. Tenryu. Oh, Dan Barry throwing Tenryu. Ten Dan Barry getting the advantage here. Chop to the chest. Drop kick. Another chop to the chest, chop and back. Test the strength here by the both of these, both these two. Chop to the, oh my good lord. 
well, we must be we must be at a rib house here, because ladies and gentlemen, we are being served chops, and they they're not tasty though. They're not cooked bad. They're just they really hurt. <clears throat> Danbury, give me a advantage here. DDT by Tenryu. Knees to the head. Probably causes a concussion. And an elbow to the back. Danbury holding his own here against Janichiro, uh, Janichiro Tenryu. I'm just gonna call him Tenryu. Fuck it. Why not? Tenryu. Oh, almost threw Danbury out of the ring there, though. <clears throat> Dragon Sleeper by Tenryu. Drop kick. Punches. Oh, here we go. Tenryu Barry. Barry wins the advantage, or wins the the, the fucking punches. Well, I'll give it a name, goddammit. Don't you worry. And a body slam. Could this be it? No. Dan Barry's still in it. And he throws Tenryu into the corner. Northern Light Suplex. Looked like he was going for a pin there, but Tenry just said not, nah, dude. Why the hell would I? 2.9 already by Tenryu. And half from the first round, though. Danbury is down. But he's getting up. No, he gets up at 5. Good on him. Good on him. Good judo throw there by Danbury as well. Oh, takes him down. Tenry takes down Danbury there. Kick to the back. Whoa. That was an interesting move there. I've never really seen anything like that before. Then Ryu going for a brain buster. This could be it. No, 2.9. Dan Barry really wanting to be the one and one and one. Drop kick. Ten Ryu getting up though. Ten Ryu not having respect for this man whatsoever. And a standing zero. Terry just gets back up like it's goddamn nothing. He's just, yeah, I'm gonna kick the crap out of you for doing that shit. He's he's not impressed. DDT by Tenryu. Danbury. Getting up. Seems still has some fight in him. I think it's up at four. On a clothesline by Tenryu. This could be it. It is. Tenryu putting away Danbury. Going 2 0 oh here at Machete Pro. I think both matches ending in the first round, I believe. There you go. Tenryu picks up the win. Picking up the W. And, and the halfway point of our show. Going at 22 minutes. As I'm recording, now 23. Hopefully that's the same for the video. But our next match features PJ Black taking on the returning Dean Ambrose. And by returning, I mean he's returning to wrestling. Because we haven't seen him since, like, 2019. Some people say he's that John Moxley fella, and I don't believe him. I mean, obviously, they're two different guys. I mean, come on. Let's let's get real here. Of course, we gotta go look for Dean Ambrose here. It was hard to find him, but he's, he's wacky, so we found him. <laughs> Sometimes wacky people are just not that hard to find. And of course, he's going to go shirtless, because why not? So here we go with our fifth uh, fifth match of the night and third to final. It is PJ Black taking on Dean Ambrose. Fight. Go. Ambrose with the advantage, PJ Black going for the chop. Knee, knee to the gut. Black seems to be going for chops to the head there. I guess that's a very sound strategy. Just simply hit your opponent in the head. Seems to work all the time. And a body slam by PJ Black there. And another one for good measures. One to the head. Well, just throwing his arm at PJ Black's head. As he gets as PJ gets thrown to the outside there. Of course PJ Black is a werewolf. That's just how it is. Knee to the gut. Punch to the head. Body slam. Of course, after this, we have... Or actually, I said third to final? I believe it's fourth to final. 
my apologies because we have after this it is three matches left the next match after this is going to be disco inferno taking on hikaru shida super beetle taking on big beetle in the semi in the semi main event and in our main event it is going to be even surreal taking on jamie senegal but right now these two are going at it <coughs> these two are going at it back and forth here knee to the back of the head i imagine that has to hurt but bj black is back at it again because he's a madman i believe the only match if i remember that go went the second round was takano jr versus saya but this match also might go in the second round as well interesting to see how many matches actually end in the first round covered by pj black rope break though drop kick by pj black there Whoa. interesting move there ambrose going up to the top takes down pj black Sonic Trader are waiting for him to get up. Cover. Getting a 2.9 is Dean Ambrose. Cover. No. Of course, your referee for these matches is La Parka. As always, doing a swell job, I would say. And a drop kick by PJ Black, but Ambrose saying, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to sell that, brother. It's Peach. PJ getting up there. Ooh, spin around DDT there. Oh, he's flexing. Ooh, okay, kind of a fuck buster there. Spinning wheel kick there. Big boy sent on by PJ Black. PJ Black really getting the advantage here, but Ambrose is fighting back. That's just how he is. He's very wacky. He's a lunatic. He's a he's a lunatic fringe. And he also hates Jerb. Oh, dirty deeds? Could this be it? It's over. Dean Ambrose. This is going to be a short episode. I might have to change the rules back. I don't, I don't really want this to go short. You know, I want these to go, like, not too long. For like kind of half an hour. That's a, some Dean Ambrose picking up the W in the first round. I think I might change those rules back. I think, I think we're going to change these. We're going to change this back. Uh... How do I, how do I really change the count? Do I want to change that? I feel like that's pinfall, right? But this is also pinfall. I don't know. I'm going to go with three count. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to stick with pinfall right now. Uh, that's good. I think what's that? I think, I think I could just leave that. It's that. All right. Everything else is all right. So now we're going to go to our next matchup here, which is Disco Inferno taking on Hikaru Shida. <clears throat> Sorry if my calls are really loud. My throat is kind of shocked because I recorded this twice. Well, this is the second recording at the very least. I, I seriously can't believe that happened. I'm so mad at myself, though. Like, everything else was going great, right? It was, it was fine. And then I, I, I finished recording. You know, I hit that end record button, whatever. And then, lo and behold... I go check the recording, and guess what? There's no audio, so it's like, well, motherfucker. So, this is legit the second time, and I fucking hate it. Where is Hikaru Shida? Please tell me Hikaru Shida is here. Do I not know the alphabet? Where the fuck is Hikaru Shida? <laughs> there she is. Okay, she is going to be wearing this outfit. So here we go. Gonna go back to the rules a little bit here. As this Inferno takes on Hikaru Shida. we go starting off here with a body slam a test of strength between the two here <coughs> test of strength yet again doing the two of course she had to work out on that arm i don't know if she has any submission holds that would go after the arm i'm not sure of course, I believe when we first booked this match, uh, Sheeta was the was the AEW Women's Champion, but of course she's lost that title ever since. So this match, well, probably wasn't going to be for the belt, but it would have been funny to have this be for the belt. As, as we see, Disco Inferno hit a suplex to Hikaru Sheeta. 
I prefer she to hidden him with one, just for good measures. That was a, kind of a falcon arrow there, but not the sit down. I don't know what, the, I don't know what those, that's really called. It's not a sit down suplex. I mean, it's a suplex, isn't it? So, I don't know. But Hashida Inferno, Inferno going on it. I usually like not to be biased for these matches, but all I'm saying is if Disco Inferno wins, I'm going to cry. There will be tears at the commentary booth here. And I'm going to hate it. Juno throw by, by Hukar Shida. Knees to the, to the gut and head there. Oh, it's chart buster. Could this, could this be it for Hikaru Shida? And she gets up at seven. That's kind of an inert. Kind of, I don't know, that's not a really bad thing. We're halfway through the first round, though. As Hikaru Shida goes for a, for a Hurricane Rana. That's a move there. I had to look away because my fucking phone vibrated. Reverse atomic drop, though, with a clothesline. Inferno, nervously as I am. He has the advantage. Rice did have the advantage. But Garcia takes down this Conferno. Form to the face. Knees to the gut. One, this Conferno two, is down. Three, four, five. Getting up on five though. A Hurricane Rana. Oh, a jumping knee there. She, she's gonna do something cool. That's what you know. It's the same move essentially. But she's gonna go for it one more time. I mean, hey, whatever works, I suppose. Snap my bite. This going for an O. Oh, spinning toll hold there. Oh. Oh, a clothesline. Sheeta. Getting up at five, though. And a spinning neck breaker. You're not Scorpio, goddammit. Reversal by Sheeta. Does a leapfrog. Hurricane Rana. Two punches to the head there. It looks like we could go to the second round here for this matchup, because of course we will. <laughs> Punch of the... Oh, warms. We're in, we are now going to the second round. And here we go. Punches of the face by Inferno. Oh, he's, he's got some moves, so I'll give him credit. Could, this, could that be it for Sheeta, though? She's got. She's up though. Getting up at six. Go for a forearm. Could this also be it for just going for no? Hopefully, but no, sadly not. Oh, she's taunting. On a reverse atomic. Oh no. Shoulder tackle. Clothesline. Disco. Having to make. Goes for a chart buster. This could be it. Come on, Ashida. Wait. No, oh, she's up. Getting up at eight. Could this could this be it? No, he's dragging him dragging him to the middle there. Sheeta Sheeta Inferno. Kick to the gut. Clothesline, both of them go down. Sheeta. She's been taking a lot of punishment. I think everyone could this she's not she's not done yet. She's got that fighting spirit. Oh, I don't know. This Sheeta's taking some time. This could be it. It's over. God damn it. <laughs> Disco Inferno <laughs> winning this match, but thank God I just got a word from me that this match is a winner who winner never gets booked again match, which means you will never see Disco Inferno here because I don't hate myself that much. The shame we'll never see Disco Inferno here. Damn. Well, we're gonna go to the semi-main event though. Super Beetle taking on Big Vito. One of these men are Italian. The other one is Big Vito. Where the hell is Super Beetle? So that's me who hasn't even gone to S. There he is. Here we go. Super Beetle taking on taking on uh Big Vito. I could have just clicked there, but I didn't. So we're gonna. This is the semi, uh, semi main event for tonight's show. This one's probably gonna be a little bit short show. 
Uh, not as long as the first one, but it is what it is. And I'm sure people are going to be fine with that as we're going to go to our semi-main event. Super Beetle taking on Big Vito. And it starts right now. And here we go. Both of these men with the test of strength here. They both throw it off there. Big Vito throwing his big old arm in the back of Super Beetle's back. Going for another test of strength. Beetle with a with an arm drag of sorts. Punch to the face. Big shoulder tackle. And a body slam for good measures. Big punch to the face. And a body slam by so it's Big Vito there. Ooh, real. Having the advantage right now, excuse me. I'm tired. Goes for the chomp there. Body slam by Vito. Vito seeming to have the advantage here in this matchup. Chop to the chest. Arsh whip to the corner. Ch another chop to the chest. And a power bomb by Super Beetle. Arsh whip. Punch to the face. All Vito Beetle. Vito Beetle. Because Vito wins. Oh, low blow. And a drop kick. Vito getting sent to the outside as he gets back into the ring. Oh. Suplex sent right back there as well. Vito getting back in the ring. And it's a Guri by Super Beetle. Big body slam by Vito. Be oh, to this drop kick there. Vito not getting any giving any respect to Super Beetle here. As we are halfway through the first round, as per usual. Punches to the head by Super Beetle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your semi-main event. After this is going to be the main event of tonight's show. Edith Surreal taking on Jamie Senegal. Oh, Nosebreaker, Codebreaker. But doesn't quite break the code or nose. Spinning Neckbreaker by Big Vito. Sense of the ropes there, both of them into each other. Another spinning neckbreaker by Vito. Again, seemingly has the advantage. Leg drop to the back of the neck. Super Beetle going for another power bomb in the ropes though. Is Vito. Headbutt. Make some like I mentioned before, this may may make you lose your IQ. But I'm not sure how an IQ of a beetle works. I mean he's a super beetle. So pretty advanced beetle if he's considered. Swarm to the back there. Enziguri by Super Beetle. Chop to the chest. No. This is another power bomb. This could be it. 2.9. Wow. I thought that was going to be right there. Vito. He's back up. He is tired. Going to get up at 5 though. Oh, Super Beetle. With a big Beetle sent on there. He's not a boy. Nor is he a man. But he does a standing enziguri. And another one for good measures. Oh, and the first round here. Saved by the bell is Vito. Irish whip to the ropes. Oh, it's kind of a punch there, or I guess a form. Enziguri yet again. Punch to the face. And a dual standing. He's stalling. Really showing off, and he hits the suplex. Dragging Super Beetle. Go for a stomp there. Air Swift, take down. One, two, Could this be three, it for Super Beetle? Air Swift. Beetle. Going for a big Beetle sent on there. He's going for another one. No, he's going for a splash one, to cover. Two. two. Three, it's over. Super Beetle. Picks up the the win over Big Vito. Good good job on good job on uh Super Beetle winning here tonight in our semi main event. But ladies and gentlemen and everybody else, it is now time for our main event. The match I'm sure everyone's been expecting. Because why would it not be the main event? I mean come on, let's get real here. It is Edith Surreal taking on 
taking on Jamie Senegal, the punk rock Kaween taking on Edith Surreal. Edith Surreal, she's been she's been taking the uh, indie world by storm as of recently, like, especially during a time like this. It's very impressive to see how well she's been doing. Of course, she got her start in Chikara, known as Still Life with apricots and pears. That is not it. This is it. I think we're going to go with this one. This one seems to be the most recent attire. As of course, she takes on Jamie Senegal. Someone who, while not as super popular as Edith Surreal, I don't think she'd be someone to look past. Jamie Senegal is definitely a kind of a name that I think could get popular in the independent circuit in about a couple of years or so. But she has a lot to prove here tonight as she takes on Edith Surreal. I will eventually find her if I fucking know the alphabet. I probably just went past her because I'm stupid. I think I, yeah, I totally went past her, didn't I? Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, we're gonna go with... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go with, with this attire. This is the one I went for. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna change the rules here also. This is gonna go back to three. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event for Machete Pro 2. This Boogaloo is personal. As we see Edith Surreal taking on Jamie Senegal and this is going to be it here we go <clears throat> your referee for this matchup of course is La Parca Surreal starting off the match with a few chops Senegal reverses with a body slam sending Surreal to the outside here as I mentioned Senegal sort of has a lot to to prove in this match Surreal, as I mentioned, has been taking the indie world, indie indie world by cir by storm. I almost said circuit. That would have been really weird. Don't uh, that 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 does not make sense at all. And they seem to back it away though. Oh. Sent to the corner is Senegal. I'm hoping this has gotten the game audio. It has gotten the game audio. Okay, just check. It. I don't want to fumble this again. God, I'd be pissed if they did. Punch the face. Does Senegal. Eight is thrill here. Of course, at the first Machete Pro show, we saw AG Gray defeating Darius Carter. We haven't really seen those two since then. I, I imagine whoever wins this match and AJ Gray could, we could see those two go at it sometime. Give or take. Going at each other, not really doing a move. Irish whip to the corner, chop to the chest, elbow to the arm, another elbow to the arm, body slam just for good measures. Punch to the back, a body slam does send a goal. And a suplex. Oh, it's surreal getting back at it though. Irish, Irish whips to the corner. And a, and a suplex there. Chopped to the chest. And an elbow. This is a back and forth kind of match here, ladies and gentlemen. That we're, we're having here. This is, what, this is what I was expecting when I book a match like this. Two of the best, two of the best people in Indies right now. One of them, very underrated name that deserves a lot more credit, I believe. But regardless, Edith Surreal going for the pin. Going and getting a one count, though. Of course, more than halfway through the first round. As Sentinel stands Surreal up here. going, But Surreal getting back to the vantage here. Going, but then Sentinel going for a back body drop there. And a chop to the face. Another one. And an elbow. Surreal taking advantage here. A real back and forth match here as Surreal drags Senegal. But does a little bit of Russian light sweep, I think. I'll go for that submission. This is like crazy. I don't know what that submission is. It's pretty cool though. But Senegal dragging Surreal. Going for that hold again. Could this be it? 
No, it's not it. I know, a suplex. Of course, we appreciate everyone here watching Machete Pro 2. This boogaloo is personal. As Surreal goes for the cover. Ending the first round, really saving Senegal there. As, as I was saying, we appreciate everyone watching Machete Pro number 2. This boogaloo is personal. DDT by Senegal. Uh, this is tonight's main event. It's a very, very good and interesting main event I think could do pretty well. Ooh, DDT. And it's been going pretty alright, going in the second round here. One, two, three, is this it for Surreal? Suplex by Senegal. Picking up Surreal. But Surreal counters with a drop kick. Surreal going for the legs here. Could this be it for Senegal? No. Hasn't really worked on the legs. Oh. It looked like it was out of an elbow of sorts. Drop kick by Senegal. And a bulldog by Surreal. Could. This could be it. But it's not, though. Sun go back up at it. These two calling at each other. Oh, super kick! Surreal back up with a drop kick. And a suplex by Senegal. Surreal taking her time to get up though. Get up at five, however. Drop kick as well. El elbow to the back with the drop kick to the legs as well. Really taking out Senegal. Dane against the Gary. Against the Gary. And a bulldog for good measures there. Could, could this be it? We're halfway through the first, second round, excuse me. So, I'm so used to saying the first round. <laughs> but we are halfway through the second. This could go to the third round. Oh. Senegal going for a double stomp. Cover. Oh. It's pretty close there, 2.9. No. Apologies there, another interruption. Don't really plan those. So, of course, back at it again here. Hammerlock DDT buys Surreal here. This this couldn't go in the third round. It's pretty close. Bulldog by Senegal. This might be the first time we've seen one of these matches go in the third round. Hyping up the crowd here. No crowd though. Short suplex. One, Senegal. Two, three, four. Getting a four count. I think DDT. Oh, I think Senegal's out. Senegal is out. Oh, good lord. Okay, it's real. Okay, good lord. Okay, okay, good lord. You didn't need to do that. A little, little bit of disrespect there, though, but... I guess we're not going to the third round, unfortunately. But ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else, this has been Machete Pro number two. Psh. This boogaloo was very personal, and we appreciate everyone for coming out here. Gabri uh, this has been Polly B. Your commentator, slash announcer, slash owner, slash whatever you want to call him. And we will see you for Machete Pro 3. Thank you and have a good night.